Sorry folks, I'm back again and I didn't finish up that last video very well because of my memory card. It ran out. <laughs> yeah, I, I was doing some filming just recently and I forgot to delete the filming that I'd done off the card so there wasn't the space that I thought. Anyway, just carrying right on with that that biscuit barrel here am I now literally just having deleted and made space. What I've got to do is I've got to throw the lid for that form there. So let's just, this is just a simple uh, cap lid. Let's just do that. So that's, this is like, this is actually 11 and a half ounces. But you know, if you're gonna make these 12 ounces probably, it is good. So I'll just make this a quick clip, okay, just on on making this lid. Okay, so this is pretty simple to do. Basically centering up. Okay. Breaking in. Don't go too thin in, in the in the base there. Now widening. Now let's take those calipers and then I can explain what I was on about before. You remember I measured like, like that, n not like this, but I've measured like that. Because I want to take that measurement and test, test this, this lid by putting the calipers on the inside, you see. So that. Uh, yeah, there's, you'll find that there's all you know when you do lidded forms. Just take it as norm, normal, okay. That you're going to need to fit lids up, all right, all right. Even though you you make them with calipers, like you see me do. Um, you're still going to need to fit your lids up, you know, when they're at the leather hard stage. Now you saw me doing that with the, the video before last, I think it was, while I was making these, fitting up some of these uh, lids on these biscuit barrels. So, um, let me just let me just show you that right now, as it is. Um, dilly pom, dilly pom. Yeah. At that stage. Okay, so see that thickness that I've got there? All right. We'll now go over to here. Um, let me something use I could use as a pointer. So you wanna see the thickness there, that thickness, these marks I'm putting in here, you see? So you want that to kind of correspond to that, don't you? So you get the, when the lid fits, the form continues, you see, the, the line, the line continues here. It doesn't suddenly like jut out here because you've made the lid all thick. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> all right. Okay. So what left to do here? I didn't leather him, did I? So, yeah, I mean, the height of this here is, is really, I'll tell you what it is, because I know you'll ask. That's an inch and a half, okay? But it's just down to your own. Um, 
how it looks right for you, but I, I, I'm doing it like that, okay? So that's that, okay, now I need to clean off the side, don't I, here. So using my throwing stick, just gently go down the side there, remove the slurry, clean, cleaning the outside of the pot, all right? And just put in a bevel underneath, okay, like that. Remove a little clay. Always do that bevel, you see, whatever you throw, just put a bevel. Clear back a little bit of the slurry on the wheel head. Take the old cut-off wire. Get yourself a decent cut-off wire. Please. Okay. Let me do this on this side so you can see. So, we're using your thumbs. Keep the wire taut, okay, always. No, don't cut off with a loose wire like that and sort of bring it around like this. Keep it like that and straight through. I'll be honest with you, I don't think I... <laughs> Simon, you're supposed to be showing us how we do this right! <laughs> I think I made this one actually a fraction on the uh, thin side through the... through the bottom. <laughs> okay, well, so I did. If I did, well, I'll just ha I'll have to show you when I ha how to rectify... <laughs> What do you do when you've thrown something that is a little bit too thin in the base? How do you rectify it? Well, that'll be a good clip, wouldn't it? We could do. Yes. Um, well, I don't know how much, much more space I've got on this card or battery, so I'm not gonna I'm going to get now on and throw the next, the next body. Hey folks, thanks for joining us. Don't forget, keep practicing. Don't give up. That's the secret, you see. If you give up, you might be closer to a breakthrough than you, than you, than you are aware or you can appreciate. And you may just need to push a bit more, you see. And um, so don't give up. Get your cylinders down, that's the secret. That's always the secret. Get, m learn to make cylinders because if you can make cylinders, you see, you can, you know, you have a form or a shape, something that, you know, you want to make, you'll be able to, to accomplish it. But if you can't make a cylinder, you will be always struggling. You know, I always think of people, you know, and they're learning to make pots. That's why I try and focus with people on making cylinders because I know that it is the gate. It's the gateway. It's the it's the the way through, as it were, to um, make continuing to uh, the way through to improving and um, you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> it's the key. <laughs> it's the key. You see, if you've got the key to the door, you're just going to put it in and unlock the door and open it and you're going to walk through, aren't you? But if you haven't got the key, what are you going to do? You're going to be... Yeah. Yes, so... You need the key to go through the door. And the cylinder is the key to onward progress on the road to making all kinds of pots that you have in your imagination, in your mind. Anyway, thanks for joining us folks. Visit my website simonleachpottery.com and um, keep practicing. I'll see you soon. Bye.